Do a removal. Hey guys, Kyle here with Hornbeard Crankers. So today we are headed to do another removal. This is an open air colony, meaning that all the comb should be exposed based off the pictures. Uh, the bees have built their colony in the branches of a tree, basically. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, but it, it does happen sometimes. So uh, this removal is in good years, so not too far from me. Unfortunately, it is, I don't know if you guys can see kind of the background here. It's kind of a rainy, yucky day, but uh, this is going to be the only opportunity I have to do the removal, so we're going to get it done today. So uh, I guess I will see you guys when we get there. Later. Alright guys, we are here. We are at the client's house. we got a nice little backyard here. So we're going to make our way back and I'll kind of show you guys what we are working with here. Kind of squeeze through this garden area and boom, there we are. It's a nice size open air colony client thinks that they have been here since last summer that seems about right based off the size of it so this should be interesting a lot of branches going through uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get all the comb out but we will prevail that's for sure so let me get set up and uh, I'll just see you guys in just a second all right guys we're all set up um, as I stand here, I'm getting a couple of them that are already starting to bounce off my veil. A lot of the attitude is coming from the fact that it's such a dreary day and they really don't want to be messed with. They're really bundled up there, trying to keep warm, uh, keep as dry as they can in this kind of rainy, overcast day. So they're going to have some attitude for sure. Um, but that's, that's to be expected, like I said. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start vacuuming a bunch of the numbers down. Um, get as many vacuumed as I can to kind of, again, like I said, knock the numbers down. And then we'll start cutting comb when we have access to it. So. Hey guys, we are making progress. Unfortunately, just because how much the comb is wrapped around the tree and the branches and stuff, I'm not able to save much of the comb, if any at all, so far. Um, but I will probably give them a few frames of brood to kind of help them get a start. I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well. But it's kind of a mangled mess, as you can see. So I'm going to continue on, and I'll update you guys in just a second. All right, guys, we're getting there. Making more progress. So just a little time, do a little vacuuming, do a little pulling a comb. It is tedious work because of all these branches and the comb being wrapped all around all these branches. It's, it's very tedious work. Um, I've been at it for about an hour, I'd say now. And uh, just removing a little bit of time, vacuuming some bees. So it's a long process, but that's just the way these kind of removals go. 
they're kind of challenging so all right we're all done pretty much i'm just waiting for the bees to gather back up so i can do my last bit of vacuuming but for the most part all the comb is gone got a few chunks here and there that i'm going to clean up but they're down in the back for the most part so we're good to go on that there's my bucket of comb like i said i don't think i'm able to salvage really any of that comb unfortunately uh, it's just kind of a mangled mess because it's all in between these branches so um, i'm going to continue vacuuming and then i will continue on with the video in a moment all right guys here we are we've got the bees back at my place uh, they're still in the bee vac for right now and what i've done is in this box over here it's just all foundation uh, but I do have one frame of brood in there to kind of get them drawn up out of the vacuum box and into the hive body. So what we're going to do now is detach the top and uh, I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the inside. So there is our BVAC box. As you can see, they're all clustered at the top. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this high body right on top of the BVAC box. And this screen comes out, allowing the bees to go up into the high body above it. And they should cluster mostly around that frame of brood that and provide for them and plus that kind of gives them a good good uh, strong start since I wasn't really able to salvage any of the comb that I took out of the tree just because it's such a, a mangled mess so so all I'm going to do is put this on top them our cover an outer cover and then I always do this shake it back and forth a bunch so that way these fall off before I pull the screen out kind of pulling a bunch of bees out with it Take the tape off the entrance tomorrow, leave them locked in here for a day, get them acclimated, get them kind of uh, settled on staying kind of thing, an opportunity to migrate upward. So, so that is it guys, um, that's it for that removal. We'll see how they go. Um, I'm not sh I never did see the queen, which I wasn't really expecting to in that situation because there was just comb kind of everywhere and a mangled mass. It, it was just too difficult to uh, do that kind of removal like you normally would, where you you know go frame by frame, or I'm sorry, comb by comb and checking for the queen. Uh, that comb was just kind of a mangled mess and I ended up having to tear out like chunks of it at a time kind of thing instead of cutting the comb out. So, so like I said, we're all done with this. Um, I'll release them tomorrow, and that'll be it. Truly appreciate the support, guys. Uh, it's truly humbling the amount of uh, love, kindness, and support that you guys show us here on YouTube and our Facebook page. Make sure you check us out there as well. If you're new to the channel, now is your opportunity to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button if you find my content uh, educational, fun, entertaining, whatever you want to call it. If you like my content, hit that like button. Make sure you share these videos as well, especially to new beekeepers. Uh, they can really help out new beekeepers. So um, also check out our website, www.hornbakeracres.com, where we have 
various articles, photos, videos, information on various topics of beekeeping. We also sell our merchandise and we talk about our live bee rescue. If you're in the West Valley in the Phoenix area and you've got honeybees on your residence and you need them removed, contact us with that information below. Take care guys and uh, happy beekeeping.